Scary moments as bullets fly into a metro convenience store. We told you about the shooting following a fight near Hefner and Western on Wednesday. Now we're hearing from two witnesses, including a woman who was hit by the gunfire. News Force Kai Torque is live in studio with details. Kai Tor. When we met with Brandon McGraw today, he described the way the bullets whizzed by his head inside the 7-Eleven. But one of those shots would hit a woman in the candy aisle, and she tells us she dove for her life. And as I was walking out the door, a uh, guy walked in, brushed up against me purposefully and said, excuse you. And I looked at him, I said, well, excuse you. In that exchange at the 7-Eleven on Hefner Road in Western Tuesday night would tip off a frenzy of violence. Brandon McGraw says after this quippy exchange, the stranger who bumped him got in his face. Nervous, McGraw says he grabbed hold of his pocket knife and the man whipped out a gun, threatening to shoot which sent McGraw running inside the gas station to get help from the clerks. Started screaming at them, why the heck aren't you calling the cops? This guy's got a gun, pap, pap, pap. That's when it went off. While the string of bullets missed McGraw, one of them would hit bystander Gretchen Hash, who was shopping in the candy aisle. All I seen was pow, 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 and a bullet coming at me, and when it hit, ricocheted, it hit my arm, because I was trying to move, and I dove. Police say the alleged gunman, Lindell Barkis, quickly jumped in a car with the woman and fled the scene, but they'd find the vehicle at an apartment complex one minute away. Barkis was arrested that night, while his victims remained shaken. It's insanity. There, there's really, there's no words to describe it at all. I'm afraid to go to the stores anymore, even walk by myself. It hurt. It really hurt. Barkis is currently in the Oklahoma County Jail on a complaint of assault with a deadly weapon.